Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One and welcome to Boots on the Ground. Hope you're having a good day. If you guys have anything you could offer to help other people uh, with what you're experiencing in your life in your area, send it to Southern Purple One, Southern Purple One at Yahoo.com. Watch out for scammers. They're gonna use my picture, they're gonna put, you know, you want something or call this number or what's up app. All of it is scammers. Uh, the only way to contact me is Southern Prepper One at Yahoo.com, and that's the only way I'm going to contact you. Let's get right into it. This person just bought some lunch meat recently and went to open it for the first time today and found it had lid had popped off because the gases inside expanded. Um, as you can see, the expiration date was 11 4. Uh, what the heck? So frustrating. It's obvious, not good. Um, also, distilled water in their area is still out, uh, and the store says they don't even know when they're going to get it. Also, the aisles in their grocery store are much wider and no display um, in certain areas. They've just made everything wider. The fruit section is definitely diminished. This person ran into a restaurant to grab some coffee and a breakfast. I bought a muffin. It rang up $2.16. I pointed to the sign by the muffins of $1.79. The young girl cashier apologized and said the prices just went up. That's over a 20% price increase. I should have argued since the sign was still posted, but I let it go because the poor girl alone was working the register and the drive through orders. This person lives in Belgium. I love when we get from overseas just to see what they're going through. He, this was an officer, a police officer that quit many, many, many years ago. And right now he is just growing and trying to survive on a small piece of property. Uh, their garden is very small, but it provides two thirds of their yearly needs. They also deal with a farmer about a mile away and get their meat from them. Uh, they have a small little community, five households that help each other uh, trading and just just gardening. He's also a shooter in a gun club, and that's why he can have a firearm. He says the inflation rate is officially 12%, but he gave me a bunch of numbers, and it's definitely not 12%. They are lying. It's way up. Uh, new cars, you got to wait for 14 months to get one. Uh, a, lot of re a long time to get things repaired on your vehicle. Um... But he says a lot of people are just making it. Um, and he also says he lives near a NATO military base and a lot of jets, a lot of fighter planes, a lot of planes overhead. And he says they looks like they're training to fly with the nuclear racks on some of the aircraft. Uh, and he says dummies for the moment. Uh, but they are worried. Uh, tensions are, you know, they feel getting hotter over there. Uh, and he says just pray for us because he's sort of at ground zero being that close to Ukraine and Russia. Uh, Michigan Republicans introduced a bill that would classify allowing minors to undergo gender transition surgery as first degree child abuse. So if you're in Michigan, some local news for you. My wife and I are in our early 60s. We visit our neighbors and while walking around the property, I noticed a stack of wooden poles. I said I was going to buy some to extend my new chicken coop I'm building. My neighbor said take them. While walking around the property, I noticed both of their yard hydrants were leaking. I told him I'll take the poles, but only if I can fix his hydrants. It took most of the day, uh, but it was an honest way to barter. Build your community and be honest. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, if you deal with any people on a barter make sure it's a fair exchange if one side gets ripped off and then an hour or two realize they say oh i got ripped off that wasn't fair uh you're not going to barter anymore with them and it's going to put a bad taste in their mouth so be fair in all your transaction this is from i-81 it's mostly a trucking interstate there are normally more trucks than cars during any point in the day recently uh it's been oddly empty of trucks not completely empty but very noticeably different at least in my area not sure if others are seeing the same thing in their area also my husband works for the railroad and the uh, type of car that takes the containers that the meant to offload onto semis have been empty for the last several days this is important. I mentioned, I think, yesterday about the eBay. People that sell on eBay, I'm getting reports from eBay, Etsy people, all kinds of people that have small little online businesses uh, that are saying their sales have just collapsed, total collapse of sales. Uh, I'm a picker in Florida. I pick and sell items from yard sales, thrift stores, estate sales, auctions, liquidations, etc. And I sell on eBay and Amazon. Low cost, high profit margin. Been doing this full time for 15 years. My entire career every day has been about $400 on a slow day to $800 on a good average day in sales. Starting around the beginning of the year, it's like they just shut the faucet off suddenly. I'm lucky to get $250 in sales a week now. $250 in week, a week. I cannot put into words how significant the change it has been. It has been instant. 
My wheelhouse of goods consists of bits of everything, consumer electronics, household goods, clothing, collectibles, toys, tools, pretty much anything that you can legally sell and ship online. People are just not spending money anymore, at least not on anything non-essential. On top of the extremely low volume in sales, shipping prices continue to skyrocket, and so do fees that online e-commerce is charged. I have more people messaging me daily now, sending me lowball offers that would barely cover shipping and fees that I have. I've done good in the past and I've built up a little nest egg, um, so he's going to be okay. Uh, I've noticed an increase, and this is in Central Florida, I've noticed an increase in car repos. Uh, and this is talk among the community regarding job layoffs. And every time I go to the grocery store, there's always bare shelves, low supply, and of course, increased prices. This is from a bee beekeeper in Colorado. Uh, if you're needing to, you know, get sugar to feed your bees during the cold months, get it now. Beekeepers in uh, my area are starting to struggle to get enough sugar to keep their bees alive. My wife and I were traveling from Dallas to Belt. Belton, Texas, and I passed between 10 to 15 truck stops and rest areas between 8 and 10.30 evening on Saturday. My wife, who has been an over-the-truck driver, uh, noted that the truck stop should start filling up about 8 o'clock every evening. Only one of the truck stops we passed was even close to half full, even though there had been seemingly a lot of over-the-road traffic during that day from Little Rock. So they don't know why. Where's all the truckers going? Uh, this is Arby's in Ohio. Not enough employees. They could not take my order at 12 p.m. because no one had showed up for work except one management. This person says, I'm a 64-year-old retired guy from Central Florida. I enjoy your boots on the ground. I heard in recently one of the truck and car traffic on I-75 between Florida and Ohio were greatly decreased with many broken down cars on the side of the interstate. I made this trip quite a few times, so I'm comparing as I drove. I drove north on October 3rd and 4th, returning south on October 8th and 9th. Uh, my experience was traffic and abandoned vehicles were quite different than you previously reported. Only 12 cars northbound and 8 cars southbound were broken down and unattended on that 1,800 mile round trip. The traffic, oh my gosh, uh, just terrible. Tons of traffic, uh, semi-trailers, uh, car traffic was also heavy as well, both directions. Oddly enough, I noticed driver's manners were much better than I've seen in a few decades while going northbound. But one week later, most folks driving southbound seem to have forgotten all the rules of the road. I can't think of no explanation for that. Uh, also, in our trip, every restaurant was understaffed, uh, and the entire existing staff was completely uh, just frazzled uh, and complaining, saying that no one wants to work anymore. This is important. My brother has hauled farm crops in Idaho for many years and said this season is over for potatoes, but they were able only to fill two of the five large storage buildings. And the employees said that they were scared because this is only 40% of what they normally get. Today I went to uh, Troutdale, Oregon in, at Walmart. I walked by the deli and the clerk was telling a customer that the breaded wings, all of them, we no longer sold by the pound. I looked up and saw that six wings was $7.87. And some type of JoJo potato also was sold by the scoop now instead of by the pound and were expensive. They had plenty of pumpkin, but very few other squash, less than a half a dozen butternuts. The rest of the Walmart had areas filled in here and there with more than normal of chips and other things they had plenty of. They also said that Kroger actually had their butter on sale, 16 ounce butter for $7 on sale. Normally $7.49. Butter has gone crazy. I bought two pumpkins today. This is in Eastern Connecticut today for a total of $5. I don't know if it's a bumper crop or lack of demand. So if anybody can uh, throw in their two cents about pumpkins, uh, two pumpkins for five bucks. I don't know the size, but it seems like a good deal. Hello, I've watched you for years. I live in Florida. I just paid insurance on my rental property. Was $2,000 last year, this year, right now, $3,300. So that's $1,300. Uh, that's over $100 more a month. This year, I can't imagine what it will be next year after hurricane or the hurricane Ian went through. Ian, I am 75 and have been cleaning homes for the last year to help pay for the bills. I was making... $2,000 per month. 
<clears throat> now people are cutting back and I only made six hundred dollars per month so that's huge if you're, you're counting on two thousand a month and now you're only making six hundred uh, that is crazy I shop at Aldi's and occasionally I buy their fresh pizza they've been four dollars and ninety nine cents for years I buy one or two per month I bought one last week it was seven dollars and ninety nine cents uh, that is not nine or that is not eight percent per year inflation can someone tell Biden it's more like eight percent per month the two Kroger's I talked about closing in Atlanta one is closing because of declining sales and negative profit over an extended amount of time the other one the lease is up in 2023 and they say it will be torn down and then a new Publix built there uh, that's what they're saying on the news here this is from Seneca South Carolina everywhere the hospital emergency rooms are full I have a friend that I work with that has a three-month-old he had to take her to the hospital uh, to the emergency room for an allergic reaction the foot was swelling he was there four and a half hours no doctor saw him end up going to an urgent care they gave her some medicine right away I think the healthcare system is being set up to fail so it can be replaced with a government system that they have wanted for years uh, that's a good point uh, I mean they got rid of a lot of people that didn't want to get this and now the system's very fragile and it's definitely uh, falling apart so now maybe they'll come in with their solution to the problem this is in Michigan. I cook with a variety of game, wild game over the years. Onions, carrots, crock pots are always game friendly. Mix some store brand sausage into any game meat that is to be ground up will improve the flavor. Easy to make it to grill like game burgers. And it also adds moisture to very lean game meat. Um, some game meat benefits from being pounded with a meat tenderizing mallet to cut the stringy texture, rabbit and squirrel, etc. So thanks for those hints. I think people are going to be needing them more now than ever. I work in a nursing home in Pennsylvania. This company I work for owns six other nursing homes. All of the nursing homes got a 16% cost of living increase except the one I work at because we're the only one that is a union. We are losing all our good nursing staff because we are the lowest paying place in all the surrounding counties and no one is applying at our facility. My heart goes out to the residents. Went yesterday and found chicken breast for $2.98 a pound, unlimited amount. Found 90% beef patties for $3.13. And right next to that was ground beef, 88% for $3.48. Didn't make sense, but I bought the better beef for cheaper. Both were a real surprise, even though all other prices were up. I probably should have bought more. I think we're all going to say that one day. Should have got more when it was cheaper. Went to pay our electric bill at the local bank, which provides this service uh, so we don't have to drive 45 minutes to pay at the office in person. Was told that in order to pay the electric bill in cash like we've been doing for years, their new bank policy states we have now have to have our current driver's license and social security number on file with the bank, even though we have no account with them. The teller stated that their new policy requires them to be able to track all cash transactions and people involved. This is another example of banks tightening the flow of cash money and people involved. Uh, they also needed to know my occupation for their records. I told them that I was retired, but still needed to know my previous occupation. I told them that I was self-employed. They were visibly upset, but let me pay our electric bill after they collected all of my personal information and informed them uh, on leaving that it would post. I would post this experience on the net. And they replied, their hands were tied in this matter. Banks were cracking down on cash withdrawals and now monitoring even the smallest deposits that people make. Uh, this is in a bank in Texas. This person has sent me things before, but today they said, um, let me back up. A few months ago they sent me, uh, and the canned dog food was $1.59 a can. Then, that was six months ago, then they reported that it went up to $1.79. Then they sent me another, it went up to $2. Then they just sent me, it went from $2 to $2.29 a can today. I think they're in Connecticut. So. Probably six, seven months ago, it was $1.59. Now it is $2.29. That is a huge increase. That is not uh, 8%. This person says, I haven't had any issue getting prescription medication here in Lawrence. Uh, I do want to make certain people are remembered to stock up on emergency meds. For me, it's for my four-year-old. He needs a rescue inhaler. He doesn't need it weekly, but when he does, he needs it. We've been very proactive in making sure he will have plenty moving forward. Um, they just want this person wants to remind people 
get your medication now. Land Likes Butter, they sent me a picture. This is butter at a nearby independent grocery store. $7.19 a pound. Uh, this is a small coastal community town in southern Washington. Gas, $5.89. Uh, they went to a nice place for dinner by myself. One person. I got a cup of chowder and a dinner salad with crab on it. The mash on the salad was awful and tasteless at the same time. Couldn't finish it. Went to pay the waiter and he said $42. Uh, $42. Um, they were shocked. This person is in Mississippi. I've attached a picture of a riverboat on the ground because the river is so low. We have grain bins sitting full that can't be moved because of the river level. This is very serious. Also at my local Walmart, the Great Value brand of dried beans have been on stock for over three weeks now. Maybe they're waiting for the new harvest to replenish. That's just my guess. I'm located in upper Midwest. I've watched prices climb weekly at my local store and mainstream media would have us all believe this is happening worldwide. I just heard from a friend who is visiting London and she said everything is so much less expensive over there. I watched the video with price comparisons between the US and the Russian groceries. Even the Russians is less expensive. I feel like we are being played. Um, frustrated and saddened by what our country has become. Um, I'm, I'm looking into this, but there's a lot of places that I'm getting first-hand reports of that their prices are definitely increasing. Uh, I think the prices involving Russia, if they're a local product, they're not going up as much. But if it's imported, good. But, you know, I saw a lot of things that are imported over there that we're still getting through. So it's sort of weird. This person said... Um, Went into a large Target supercenter and saw huge shortages, worse I've seen in many months. No meat, very little produce, and noticeable gaps. Not sure if this is an ongoing or a one-time issue. Haven't gone to stores much, but prices out are outrageous. Just wanted to share with the community. So this is in Texas, and this could be just uh, one store that's had some problems shipping. Um, Recently, our beloved dog had a major surgery for cancer and required compression bandages be changed daily for several days. Up to this point, we thought we had prepped a sufficient supply of gauze and tape to handle just about any wound. We were wrong. The amount of supplies it took was so much, much more than we even realized. Don't underestimate the amount of materials and meds to have on hand, especially if you can't get to the doctor or vet. Uh, this was for us a definitely a learning lesson. We hope this helps someone else to be more prepared. If you need gauze, if you need 4x4s, you don't need it by, oh, I have a little box. You need a big box. Literally, you will go through so much with one simple injury. I heard you report about an Indiana Honda dealer being closed for three days this week because of parts and supply chain issues. Um, I think that Honda dealer was actually the ones that were manufacturing it. But nevertheless, my son works at a Toyota dealership in the repair department in Tennessee. He said that lots of his co-workers own Honda and can't get parts from Honda dealers to do their own repairs. He states that when they order engine parts, they wait up to six months for the delivery, and these deliveries are coming from Japan. Also, they're getting a lot more Hondas coming into the Toyota dealer to get fixed. Unless places like O'Reilly's Auto Parts have Honda parts, they sit in the lots for weeks. I am from Louisiana. I find myself from time to time being overwhelmed by the current events. However, within two stories you reported on this week about the donation for the milk for the children and the ill farmers' neighbors coming together to help harvest, I was uplifted. I am setting aside at least one day a week now only to listen to and read as much good news as possible. Maybe if your viewers are interested, you could start sending in good happenings as well and have a great weekly episode of Boots on the Ground that's all good news. If you have any good news, send it to me. And to finish off, yesterday, Saturday, my wife and I traveled in, or in Kentucky to watch our grandson play in the sixth grade football state playoffs. It was a great game. Both teams played well and went into overtime. I was impressed that after the game, both teams gathered on the field and prayed, this is America. After the game, we stopped at uh, a place for something to eat, um, and it was awesome. The service was excellent, the food was great, and the price very affordable. Honestly, it was amazing. We fed a family of seven full complete meals for $115. That is very good. We have never been to this restaurant before, but we plan on visiting any time we are in the area. So great service, great food. Keep fighting. This is America. I am not going to let the bad guy win. I'm not going to let evil prevail. You do whatever you can to stop the head of evil and to always be a helpful community helpful in your community thanks for watching